Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how Israeli scientists have engineered a super tomato capable of thriving in extreme drought, yielding more food with less water, and offering a glimpse of farming's future in a warming world. Researchers at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem succeeded in developing tomato varieties capable of producing a high yield even during extreme drought conditions, according to a study published in the journal PNAS. Doctoral student Shai Torgerman and Professor Danny Zamir from HU's Faculty of Agriculture, Food and Environment in Rehovot led the study Epistatic QTLs for Yield Heterosis in Tomatoes. According to the researchers, the higher yield was due to interactions between two regions of the tomato genome. Furthermore, they concluded the new variety consumes less water and increases its production in extreme weather conditions. The research was a part of the scientific cooperation with the European Union in the Horizon 2020 program. Another study shows that more than half of Israelis like it in their salads. Moreover, 18% say they eat plain, and 11% like to cook it into shakshuka. However, tomatoes will not be available in the market as the climate gets hotter. The research results proved the effectiveness of cultivating plants in agriculture using wild species. The distinctive structure of the new population enabled the precise mapping of the genes in it and the identification of mutual effects. It established the potential for comprehensive application in other plants and improving yield. They are grown in open field conditions and need protection from pests. They need nutrition and regular watering. However, climate change and severe water scarcity demand alternate varieties and modern cultivation methods. The researchers crossbred two types of tomato species, Solanum penelli and Solanum lycopersicum. One is a green-fruited and drought-tolerant wild tomato from the deserts of western Peru, and another is a modern processing inbred. They identified the regions of the genome that affect agricultural traits such as yield. Professor Zamir carried out DNA sequencing and extensive data analysis of 1,400 plants. He noted, our integrated breeding efforts unite classical and genomics-assisted methods to demonstrate that yield barriers are only there to be broken. Torgerman explained, Studies of complex traits in plants such as yield and resistance to drought conditions have been based on significantly smaller populations of about 200 species. According to the research findings, two regions on the different chromosomes yielded a 20-50% to 50 increase in overall its production under irrigated and drought conditions. Now, based on the published knowledge, we are cultivating new varieties with the aim of commercializing them on the food market, he concluded. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.